I've seen people on the news before being homeless and you, you feel sad for them, but you couldn't possibly imagine what it feels like until you're in that situation. You couldn't imagine what it feels like and the things that, you know, you would do just to be able to have somewhere to be stable. We've been homeless for about 10 weeks now. Um, by homeless, I mean like literally like moving from place to place. Um, we spend a lot of nights in, in places um, that we normally wouldn't have, um, but we've been looking for a house a lot, a lot longer than that. I was told back in February that I had um, to find a new rental property due to my lease being up. Um, and I started applying back then, but with no luck. Um, I found through communication with my property manager at the time that um, most people weren't even bothering to ring her. Um, I think due to the fact that I've got six kids. start thinking, you know, how, what am I going to do with my kids? Um, how are they going to cope? How am I going to cope? Um, you, you start thinking, you know, are you going to fall apart? Because it's a huge thing to look at, you know. Not just having to worry about yourself, being a mum, having to worry about not just one in my case, but six other people, um, you know, and knowing that their, their, their stability is going to go out the window, it's horrible. Wouldn't wish it upon anybody. We've slept on a church hall floor, we slept in swags. Um, we've had to shower at the beach, you know, in the cold. I had my two older ones who refused to do that for modesty, um, being teens, you know. Eventually, the will to want to be clean won out over modesty and they sucked it up and they did it. St Vincent's and Paul is what's kept us going food-wise. Um, even the phone calls to see how I'm going, um, you know, and daily from different members to, to see how I'm holding up and what they can do to help me. In all honesty, like there's some mornings that I've gotten up and like I said, like I get up and I cry. And then I think, you know, I should just finish it. I should just finish it. What, what actually stops me is the reason that I'm in this situation is because I have all of my kids and the reason I need to get out of it is because I have them. So thinking about them being on their own, not only losing everything but then not having their mum, um, that's what keeps me going. And so I have to suck it up, you know, and that's what I say to the kids continuously. We've, we've keep just a little bit longer, you know, it's got to end soon, it can't go on forever. And that's how we, we get through each day.